Before I start the video, I'd like to say that the product mentioned in this video was given to me free for review purposes. If you like the product shown, there will be a link in the description, and on the Amazon page, you can apply a coupon on the product page or at checkout. Thank you. Hey, funny peepers, it's your boy Nate here with a cool graphics tablet review. Uh, now, I'd like to say before I get into the review part of this that I have never actually done a tablet review, nor a review of any type before, so please excuse me if the way I'm doing this is a bit different from other content creators. Another thing is that this is 100% my opinion and is no way biased towards the company. We only give the real facts here on the Nate Animate YouTube channel. That's how we do it. So, today I will be reviewing the Gaumon M1220 graphics tablet. I just have to say right now that this is hands down one of the nicest tablets I have in my possession. For being so cheap compared to other graphics tablets made by companies like Wacom and Hueon, the quality of the set I received is super nice. Everything included is the essential stuff, plus some other cool little bonuses. Uh, let's take a closer look, shall we? Excuse my cluttered entertainment center workspace. Unboxing this on my desk would have been a bad idea as stuff would have gotten everywhere. Opening the box, you will be greeted with a mouse pad. A nice little gift considering it's massive, though my entire desk is a mouse pad, so I won't really need to worry too much about this. Along with that comes a tablet skin, which I won't be applying until after the review. And here is the tablet itself. Very sleek and minimal, but stylistic. Next is a drawstring carrying case for the tablet. Then we have the included glove with written instructions. Plug-in cables are next, followed by the pen. I must say, this is the nicest pen for a tablet I have. Very lightweight, but not cheap feeling. Along with this, the addition of the rubber grip takes this pen to another level when it comes to comfort. Holding hard plastic for prolonged periods of time isn't exactly comfortable. Next, we have cases for the pen nibs and the pen itself. Uh, I would have preferred a hard plastic case for them, but I'm not opposed to the style they went with. Finally, we have the adapter ports for using this on mobile devices, but I'll get into this in a second. Setting it up is super easy. The instruction book tells you where to go, or just go to the website and download the drivers. Just select the model number and download your proper OS version. Inside the app, you can adjust key mapping, pen pressure settings with adjustable profiles for different programs, and screen settings. The setup is quite simple and is almost like plug and play, but with one additional step. Now, I'm gonna make a little drawing to demonstrate the tablet. This is the part I was most anxious about as I'm terrible when it comes to non-display tablets. I'd been drawn away from these types as I used the old version of the light blue Intuos from Wacom. This tablet has such a rough texture and it feels like I'm drawing on sandpaper when I use it. When my display tablet's pen broke, I had to use that one and let's just say I had no desire to use it. Well, if only my pen broke after I was contacted, because let me just say that this tablet is super, super slick and not in a bad way like some tablets would be. Every stroke I make with this pen feels really, really nice. I must compliment the little pink and bluish spots on the workspace. Very pleasing to look at. Along with that, I do have to say the extended area of the tablet from my old Intuos to this was a lifesaver. My old one did not fully fit the 1920 by 1080 monitor as it was too small. So it felt like every stroke would extend as I moved from left to right. Also, the amount of mappable buttons this tablet has is more than enough for me. The only gripe I have is the little circle scroll bar. It's not very responsive, at least for me, and I had issues mapping it so I just don't use it. However, the express keys at the top are an amazing feature. Instead of reaching over to my mouse or keyboard to change tabs or turn the volume up and down, there's a little convenient button right at the top for me to touch, out of the way of the drawing space so that there's no worry about hitting them on accident. Another thing is that this tablet came with the adapter ports for Android phones and tablet compatibility. Yes, this isn't a PC-only drawing tablet. It connects to most Android phones, though there is one problem I face for this demonstration. Yeah. Let's start this drawing, shall we? I decided to try and draw Biggie, and he's going to be looking at the tablet I'm using right now. Later in the drawing, I tried shading him, but I ultimately decided not to, as I suck with shading. Also, excuse the fact that even though I think the drawing turns out fine, I still suck at drawing on non-display tablets, so you'll see me make many mistakes.
And there we have it. Honestly, this is an amazing drawing tablet. Whether you're just looking to start drawing digitally and are not ready to blow hundreds of dollars on a display tablet, or if you are just wanting to upgrade from another graphics tablet, I highly recommend this one, as it's a very intuitive tablet. Now before the video ends, there won't be another vid for a bit, as school is absolutely kicking me in the stomach. I'll be back though. Finally, thanks to Cindy for contacting me about this tablet. I had fun working with you. Alright guys, that's it. And now I need to find a way to end this video. Uh, bye.